this week I thought we'd take a look at the Sacramento Area Association of Realtors Folsom Tour. Renee Morales with Keller Williams, good friend of mine, is here to talk to us about what's happening this year with the Folsom Regional Tour. Renee, along with Ed Anderson of Realty World, are co-coordinators this year along with me. So welcome, Renee. It's good to have you here. Hey, well, thank you. It's good to be here. What's new at the Folsom Tour that realtors should know about? Well, um, attendance is growing. We have a lot of participation in the uh, home tours with every meeting. And uh, we have some great speakers coming up to talk to us about a wide variety of uh, topics ranging from real estate marketing to local public officials um, to industry related topics. It's been a really, a really great time. So what speakers are coming up at the Folsom Tour in this next month in May? Well, wow, there's quite a few, but uh, well, in May we have a social media marketing guru, Thomas Dodson. Uh, you may have read about him in the front cover of a local magazine. And then we have Dave Howe from the Metrolist. And in uh, June, the president of the board from the uh, Folsom Cordova Unified School District, Teresa Stanley, and Matt uh, Washburn, uh, director of facilities, to talk to us about the uh, South of 50 project and how uh, schools will be impacted and what new schools will be built in that, uh, in that area. So it sounds like a power-packed couple of months. I'm pretty excited about that. You know, Folsom Tour has been very powerful. It's growing. We're having a great time. When are the meetings and where can, uh, how can the realtors get involved? Great. Well, the meetings are on Tuesdays, but the first uh, Tuesday of the month, is it's at uh, SAR on Howe Avenue. Uh, but the rest of them, the Folsom ones, are all the other Tuesdays of the month. They start at 8.30 a.m. at the Masonic Lodge at 1000 Dutch Howe Way in Folsom. We highly encourage all realtors to participate. And they've got great coffee available too, yeah. right? Yeah. You so too. we'll see you there. Thanks, Renee. Awesome. Great having you. Thank you, Kevin. And we look forward to seeing you at Folsom Tour. Hi, I'm Terrence Springer with Remax Gold. I'd like to introduce you to my new listing at 290 Waterview Way here in Folsom. It's located on one of the most prestigious streets in American River Canyon South. The house features 3,137 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, a beautiful pool in the backyard, and an extensive remodel with a gourmet kitchen and three and a half inch Carrera marble countertops. Not one detail has been missed except for you being in it. My name's Terrence Springer with Remax Gold. Please come by and check it out. Thank you. A couple of weeks ago, we talked about what hashtags are. So today, we're gonna to talk about what they mean to you. You can create hashtags to easily monitor campaigns in a variety of ways. When conducting a specific campaign, hashtags can be used to spread the word in a way that's clearly associated with your brand. Then they can be monitored to gauge level of activity and interest. For example, if Iron Point Mortgage wanted to promote a giveaway of a goodie bag, we could use the hashtag, hashtag Iron Booty, and ask users to post social content, including the hashtag, for a chance to win. For a campaign on Facebook, make it sure that it's essential. One that dives deep and one that's purely comparative. To measure the effectiveness, look at a few things. The number of posts that include the hashtag, Finding out how many times a hashtag has been used gives you a high level view of how much buzz you're generating on Facebook. Number two, what are those posts saying and are they having fun with it? Number three, check how often your hashtag is being used in Facebook in comparison to how often your hashtag is being used on other active social media channels. Hashtags allow marketers to engage with users they otherwise wouldn't be able to build branded campaigns, and sleekly measure the results. So, give it a try. That's it for this week's edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thanks for your feedback. Keep the comments coming. We'll see you on the roads. Have a great week.